All right, there's not many versions on YouTube, but it is kind of on Twitter. And this is for a new anime called The Exiled Heavy Knight Knows How to Game the System. Sounds like a shitty isekai, native isekai, power fantasy show that we can watch together. But hey, let's check it out. And Gohan's is doing this, so the camera work is going to be wonky right off the bat, right? Oh, God. 15 FPS. Woo! Yeah, a lot of people are upset about this because the choppiness. Well, a lot because like this is the same studio that did the anime. You know, the girl I like forgets her glasses at them or something. And first impressions is everything, right? Like if you're gonna just like have such choppy like 30 FPS animation, I don't think the concept is bad. There was a separate video we made about this, but like I don't think this part's bad. But it's the first impressions, right? The first 10 seconds, people have already made up their bias towards this. I think it looks like the concept is good, but like the execution is ugh. Yeah, it's very janky, choppy. Oh. Oh! Guys, give Gohan a chance, okay? Let him cook. I think they're close to something. I think that this whole animation here, yes, everything leading up to the door sucked. But as soon as we enter the door, maybe it's just because we have a camera angle right below <laughs> of a girl. But let him cook, bro. Imagine when this shit gets more polished, man. Imagine the future. Damn. This ain't the heavy night though, right? Main heroine? Is this the heavy night? Okay. And there it is. Just first premiere, first take PB trailer, right? Like, again, I don't think any of this, like, looked bad here, right? Like, if you compare to some shitty-ass generic isekais that we watch every season, are you going to tell me that this looks bad? Are you going to? I think this is better than the most garbage slop that we get on a seasonal basis. I think that people have a huge bias against Gohan simply due to their camera work, which, you know, other people have seen in different anime studios, right? Like, all of this shit, if they can just polish this, I think that, like, there is potential here for them to make a new meta, but it's just not being well received right now. Let's see what some people have to say during the, you know, the comment section. Lamau, the classic Gohan's camera angle is killing me. I swear to God, I see this guy everywhere. This dude with the mocking season. I, I, every tweet, this dude is everywhere. Gohan certainly is Gohansing. Ah, good old Gohans. Why do they keep insisting on doing this? You're putting in more effort to make it worse. Now, do you want the same copy paste garbage slop that you get served on a seasonal basis over and over? I can respect Gohans even if they fuck up, even if standing out for the purpose of standing out is not really, you know, working out. I can appreciate the efforts they're making such that maybe one day someone else will take their, you know, mechanics of camera work and shit and polish it and make it better. Just like the shaft head tilt. One day, this could become a separate fucking meta. But if you're gonna say this shit like this, then you're just gonna get fed the same garbage over and over again. Like, what is the idea here? Well, I think there is potential and it's quite unique. If they somehow master make it look good, it would be really cool. I absolutely agree. The fundamental problem is that the camera itself just seems to move around randomly and pointlessly. No, I don't think so. I think there is intent. It's just that the way that it was executed makes it seem like this. Like it's constantly changing. It is changing. It's mined every two seconds and they didn't plan it out. The animation looks janky. It's just a symptom of that. <sighs> no, nah, man. I think that they're onto something. It's just that the polish is not good. I think they do clearly know what they're doing. They immediately show the town here. I don't think this is random work. And then they show and then the door goes in and then the focus is on the girl and you get a fucking... Not a bird's eye view, but a bird's low view. And then boom, all the fan service to the waifus, bro. This could be its own meta right here. This whole sequence of events, every one of your favorite character waifus, if this shit gets polished, imagine the potential, man. Like, I don't know. I, I think that there is good potential. It's just being executed in a wrong way. And fans and non-fans are over-exaggerating. I respect the ambition, but not the execution. Absolutely. You think this is bad, you should see Gohan Studios' previous work. 
Handshakers top 10 worst I've ever seen. I heard Handshakers is actually really bad. I haven't seen it though. Loki at this point, the Stockholm Syndrome is working. I'm starting to like this. <laughs> I've only seen two Gohan's anime. The girl that really, uh, that forgot her glasses at, at home or some shit. That was very wonky. It definitely threw me off. To be honest, it looks pretty good. It looks decent. It's just the beginning is too fucking choppy, right? It goes through the floor. Why do they do that? Why not? I love this part. This is the best part. Having invisible floor camera work, bro? Think of the potential fan service. You don't like that? I mean, everyone has their own opinions, but Jesus Christ, Matt E. Are you serious? What the hell is this? It's the future. Hear me out. An action fantasy with style, but great cinematography and choreography could go with actually go hard. Absolutely. Joke's on you. I like the fuck yeah cinematography. Now, now I don't know if this is Stockholm Syndrome on its way, but a lot of people are definitely upset about this, right? A lot of people are definitely, you know, <laughs> upset and mad that they don't like this camera work, but I think they're cooking. I think that they're truly cooking. It's just not there yet. And even if they fuck up, it's better that we have a pioneer that's willing to trailblaze new metas in the anime industry for the consumers to have a fresh new experience. Yes, this experience that we're talking about is kind of poor, the way that it's executed. But think about other studios seeing the potential that Gohans has and then taking it and making it even better. I think it's better for all of us, consumers, anime enjoyers, if more studios are willing to take the risk to try shit like this and random monkeys on Twitter just like screeching just for random internet points. Don't listen to them. Fuck them. Double down, make this shit good, and make these monkeys come back in the future when you have a good product.